Welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. We have the machine part. We're going to return it to the power plant manager at long last. His problems will all be solved. Ah, yeah. That's the missing part from my beloved generator. You found it? Wow, thanks. Here, take this TM as a reward. And he gives you TM07, which is Zap Cannon. So, okay, thanks for saying it. It's a powerful technique. It's not what anyone c would consider accurate, but it packs a wallop. I believe it's an electric type move. I'm not really going to teach it to Sadie, though, because she needs to know Flash for some reason. Um, now what? Uh, what? Jesus. We need to go to Saffron City. That's what we need to do. God, I was blanking for... Okay, so now that the, the, the part is back in the generator, the electricity is up and running once again. Which means, you guessed it, we can now take the magnet train wherever we desire. Well, not wherever we desire. We can take it to Goldenrod City. Um, so if I can find the magnet train station, I forgot where it is. That's kind of sad. Uh, I know it's somewhere in Saffron City. I will find it. Don't worry. Is it up here? No, I think this is... It's just the gems up here, yeah? Oh, is this it? What? No. Okay, that, that goes back to Cerulean City. I don't want to go back there again. Is this it? Yes, okay. We'll soon depart for Goldenrod. Are you coming on board? Yeah, I suppose so. I can show it off. Sorry, but you don't have a... Oh, right. I am a dummy, aren't I? Well, we have to get a pass to ride the train. We have to get a rail pass. Or a magnet pass or whatever the fuck, man. Um, but I have to find that... Jesus, I don't even know. I don't even remember what to do anymore. Ah, oh, fuck me. Okay, so we need to talk to the, to the copycat girl. Jesus. Hi, I heard that you lost your favorite Poké doll. If I find it, you'll give me a rail pass? I'll go find it for you. You think you lost it when you went to Vermilion City? Pardon? I shouldn't decide what you should do. But I'm really worried. What if someone finds it? Okay, so um, we now know, uh, now that the power plant is up and running again, that the copycat girl, or the mimic girl, or whatever you want to call her, I don't care, uh, she's missing her Clefairy doll, and she thinks she lost it in Vermilion City. So, without any further ado, let's go back to Vermilion City and see if we can find it somewhere here. Not in here, man. Fucking no Clefairy doll to be found. I'm seriously going to have to search every goddamn house, aren't I? Every damn building in this godforsaken place. It could be in here, yes? No. <laughs> I don't even... Look, this is so bad, I don't even know... Is this a Clefairy doll, or...? I love Clefairy, but I can never catch one, so I'm making do with a Poké doll that I found. Oh, I see now. The girl who lost his Poké doll is sad. Okay. Could you take this Poké doll back to that poor little girl? I'll befriend a cl real Clefairy on my own one day. No worries. Aw, oh, th thanks, fat man. That's very sweet of you to return the Poké doll, even though it wasn't even yours in the first place, and you're a cruel, heartless person for stealing it. Um, and by the way, you can find Clefairy pretty easily in Mount Moon, so I don't even... I don't know what your problem is, that you can't find a Clefairy. All you had to do is go to, like, the basement of Mount Moon... Or the, the sub-level, I guess. There's not te really technically a basement. But all you have to do is go there. And it's pretty much like you'll you'll find one uh, soon enough. They're not rare or anything. I got one in Pokemon Yellow, right? I think I did. Yeah, it was named Pinky. Yay! That's my Clefairy Pokédoll! See the tear where the right leg is sewn on? That's proof. Okay, here's the Magnet Train Pass like I promised. All right, man. Shit, we got the pass. <laughs> now we can ride the train. That's the pass for the magnet train. The rail company man gave me that when they tore down our old house for the station. Damn. So what? 
Okay, well, I can't ride the magnet train unless I have a pass. But the only way you can get a pass, apparently, is to get your house torn down by the magnet train station? Is that what I'm meant to believe? We'll soon depart for Goldenrod. Are you coming on board? Yes, I am. May I see your rail pass, please? Okay, right this way, please. Yes, sir. Uh... And we get a cool little cutscene that shows us riding the train to Johto. We're jumping up and down inside the train. We have arrived in Goldenrod. We have to see you again. Yeah, so at this point, once you restore electricity back to Johto, or not Johto, but Kanto, I guess, um, you can come to Goldenrod City anytime you want by taking the Magnet Train. But I have no business in Kanto, honestly. Or, God, I have no business in Johto, so I'm going back to Kanto. We'll soon depart for Saffron. Are you coming aboard? Yes. And we get to see the cool Magnet Train cutscene again. But this time the train's going to the right instead of going to the left. So there's a there's a difference there. I want to show everything the game has to offer, and that includes both cutscenes. One where the train is going left, and one where the train is going right. You're gonna see all of them, damn it. Okay. Um. Now, also that power is restored to Kanto. We can go back to Lavender Town and check out the radio tower. So why don't we do that? Don't, okay, well, if... Oh, the music still plays inside the radio tower. That's good. I was gonna say, as long as I go inside this building, then Lavender Town will still remain creepy as always, but no. The music still plays. Hey there! I am the super music director. Ah, oh, your Pokegear can't tune into my music programs? How unfortunate. If you get an expansion card upgrade, you can tune in. You better get one. Okay, well... Um... Ah, so you're the Andrew who solved the power plant's problem. Thanks to you, I never lost my job. Well, jeez, this is like a whole subplot we never even heard of before. I didn't know you were about to lose your job, sir, but you're welcome. I tell you, you're a real lifesaver. Please take this as my thanks. And we received the expansion card, so now we can listen to that guy's music. With that thing, you can tune into the radio programs here in Kanto. Gahahaha! <laughs> yeah, no more of that Johto radio crap. We've got premium Kanto stations. Let's see what we got. If we go to our radio, I don't... Have I shown this yet? The radio? I think I probably did. In like one of the very early episodes. Let's tune in to a station. A Kanto station. Places and people. Brought to you by... Me, DJ Lily. I don't care. Let's all sing. Poke music with DJ Fern. Also don't care. And poke flute. That's uh, some very odd music, Marty. <laughs> anyway, that's obviously what we're going to need uh, to wake up Snorlax. No traditional uh, poke flute in this game. You got to use your radio this time. And for some reason, it works just as well as a poke flute would. So, oh my God, Joey, you called me literally like. What, what, what was it, two episodes ago? That's, that's too frequent. It's only been like half an hour, man. I don't, I, okay. Well, I could come back to Johto now uh, with relative ease and battle you if I wanted to. Uh, the key phrase there is if I wanted to, and I, I really don't. So, sucks to be you, youngster Joey. No one loves you enough to come to battle you. So Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot how Kanto works. I was trying to... I was going west expecting to get to Celadon City for a second there. Okay, but you can depart from the Saffron City Western Gate. And this will lead us to Route 7, which should lead us to Celadon City eventually, right? And are there trainers here? I hope not. Is this open? Probably not. No, it's closed. It's locked. I think that's the... Yeah, that's the underground path to... The other route over there. Not really any point in, in that because we can just go straight through Saffron City anyway. And here we are in Celadon City. There were no trainers, so that's a nice little thing. This Polyrath is my partner. I wonder if it'll ever evolve into a frog Pokemon. You know, funny you say that because Gen 2 
introduced uh, the new evolution for Poliwhirl, which is Politoad. If you evolve it with a... Um, gee, what is it? With the Sunstone? Or a Waterstone? No, Waterstone evolves into Poliwrath. I don't know. I don't fucking... Look, I don't... Maybe at the trade or something. I don't really, honestly, I don't know. I don't care. I never use Politoed. Erica is a master of grass Pokemon. She'll make you pay if you don't watch yourself. Jesus. Is that a threat? Wow, you and your Pokemon are really close. Thank you, sir. I know we are quite close. Hot, oh, you seen? What the hell? I'm back visiting my hometown. It's been quite a while. Andrew, have you heard? There have been fresh rumors of a rainbow colored Pokemon appearing at Tin Tower. I just had my party healed, so now I'm headed to Ecruteque. I'll be seeing you, Andrew. Yeah, we can do that right now if we want. Um, there are certain pre prerequisites. Uh, well, there, there are only two prerequisites being... Uh, you have to beat the Elite Four in Johto, first of all. And you also have to catch all of the legendary beasts or legendary dogs or whatever. Which we did! So, we could go catch it right now, but I'm going to save it for later for, uh, reasons. <laughs> Team Rocket's hideout is in the basement of the game corner. Oh wait, that was three years ago. Haha, <laughs> yes. That was three years ago, Johnny. Little Johnny. Um, the game corner, however, is still here, and you can still play your favorite, uh, games in here. You can play the slots, you can do some kind of card game, but that'll have to wait until the next episode of Pokemon Crystal where we will explore Celadon City a little bit, maybe check out the gym. See you then.